Here we've got a very nice structure with a, an affect of 2.72% and it's a high resolution data set with a very strong uh, I over sigma. If I click on this I can see the I over sigma plot and it's clear that this is very strong data. So we have very strong I over sigma all the way. This is the IOCR limit. We're still looking at like 30, 35 um, I over sigma here and it goes all the way down here. So it's very, very strong data. And if we have strong high resolution data like this and look at the Q peaks, control Q, we see these peaks actually all sit on the bonds. Now that is because these atoms here have been modeled as a sphere. We're using spherical form factors and of course the electrons are not uh, spherically around this atom but they're making bonds so we're not accounting for those atoms and we can visualize this uh, slightly uh, differently by actually going over to the um, maps area in Olix2 so this is in tools maps we're looking at a difference map and we show them up. Now we're not actually aligned here so what we need to do is select the um, atoms that we want to have in a plane and I think that's uh, select this one as well. Clicking on the depth uh, button here so this aligns them in that plane and we can delete that plane at that point. So now you can really see how the electron density has not been accounted for in those bonds. This is a structure where I have run the Hirschfeld Atom Refinement on. So if you go over to Hirschfeld Atom Refinement and load the result from this, well, first of all, the um, hydrogen atoms have all been modeled anisotropically and refined uh, freely. If I uh, switch the map on now, we see there is no residual, very little residual density in between those bonds. And that's because we have, using, have been using form factors that are no longer spherical and uh, therefore the electron density in those bonds has been modeled as well. The R factor is also very much lower, it's 2.22% in this case, and we don't have any cupics in those bonds. So this is where these pupics come from. Thanks for using Olix too.